Okay. Welcome back folks. This is part two of my Walmart adventures in the month of August. Hope you all found it interesting so far. Let's get into it. We're into part two of what I got. Now obviously the stuff I got in the big bag here. This is stuff I bought. This is stuff I got for August 28th. Again, I had to go up there and probably had to go get my medicine or something like that. So let's dig into the stuff we got here. Alright, first thing we got some movie. The Ghost of Wars. Which I thought was kinda had the main character. I thought the main uh actor in this was Billy Zan. So and for most of the for what I've seen the trailers of this movie Again, this is based in World War II. The gentlemen, these soldiers, are sent to this house to guard it. It's supposed to be, you know, supposed to be, their orders are to go to guard this house for an attack from the German forces. And they defend off the one attack with one of their soldiers. And they're, they're, they're kind of debating over, well, should we leave the house? You know, we're going to end up getting slaughtered. We're going to get killed. Shall we obey our orders or should we leave? But for our... But they can't even make the decision. Strange things start happening. Go start. The, apparently, the people who were there, they was tortured by the German army. So, their spirits are still hanging around, wanting to get revenge. So, hopefully, when I watch this, I can give you a better synopsis of this. But I think it looks pretty good so far. There. Next, we're going to dig in here. Dead Detectives. Another. This is apparently this is on Shutter. I think this is a little bit of a comedy. So look good. I figure you know this looks like something about ghost hunters and stuff like that. I mean if it's on Shutter, it should be a pretty good movie. So hopefully I'll tell you more about this. Okay, let's see. Ooh, here we go. We got some more movies right here. Now, obviously, I had to go pick up another copy of my another movie. I had to get another copy of Secondhand Lions. Apparently, mine got a little bit of a scratch in it. It started acting up. So, I was kind of looking for the Blu-ray, but, yeah, anything will do. So, I had to pick up another copy of Secondhand Lions. And the latest one from the DC Animation movies, Deathstrokes, Knights and Dragons, the movie. So no, latest one add to my DC animation collection. I thought it was pretty cool. So I got this one. Obviously I had to go check out the toy section again, see what all well they had. So apparently they've been getting really good transformers in lately, so anyways the latest one I got here was the Decepticon Snapdragon. to my ever-present Transformer collection. And I hate to admit to it, he looks better than the original Snapdragon when they were selling back in the 80s toys. So this is definitely, I would have to say, a better quality looking one. Because I remember the ones I've seen, this thing, they don't look good. So, okay. Obviously while I was in the electronics, I finally broke down. I got the uh, Neko, NECA Halloween Michael Myers of the current movie. Figure add to my collection. So, open it up here. Which is very beautifully detailed. Hopefully you can see that. So if you see this up in Walmart, this is what you'll get. It's very beautiful detailed. I like it. You know, add to my collection. And once again, I picked up another Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Rise of the Duelist. I figured I'd add another one to my collection. So. Mm. Pull that over there. Get that out of the way. So I hope you enjoyed this little little shopping trip I made at the Walmart in the month of August. Like I said, folks, we're here we are in September. The day is recording. It's Labor Day. 
I tell you what, folks, we've been going for this about nine months of this craziness. And we still ain't out of it yet. We still got about another November coming up. Between. I'll tell you what, folks, it seems like to me this year is definitely going to be different for a lot of things I've seen. Who knows if, like I said, Halloween, like I said, the month of October will be coming up here soon. You know, what's it going to be like when for kids to go out trick or treat? And I'd say, I'd say this will be the first time in years I wouldn't be surprised if Halloween got canceled. I don't think I'd want my child. I mean, yeah, you can have the protective masks and all that, but. Seriously, do you think you're going to allow your kids to go out trick-or-treating? So I wouldn't be surprised, folks, this year Halloween will be canceled. There will be no trick-or-treating, no nothing. And then you come up November, coming up here in November, uh, the biggest shopping day of the month. You know, Thanksgiving dinners and Black Friday, you know. What's it going to be like that Friday when they have the Black Friday sale up there? think at Walmart what are they going to be doing somebody sitting there with a pad all right 50 that's it cut them off you know well obviously they said this year that when they, from all the news broadcasts they said that Walmart was going to be closed on Thanksgiving day so unless they're going to make the staff come in at 12 o'clock midnight yeah well we said we'd give you Thanksgiving off but now you got to be here at 12 o'clock midnight or you know to start the shift to where they're going to have what they're going to do at 12 o'clock midnight to 4 a.m. in the morning have all the Black Friday stuff sale and like you said you can't have a bunch of people running around Walmart on Black Friday doing all that you're going to end up this COVID-19 stuff oh yeah and besides that we got the election coming up in November so it's like the big fight off between Donald Trump and Joe Biden which one of the lesser two evils do we choose this year folks and they're also talking about, like, you know, they say, oh, we want to cure by the COVID-19 uh, by November. Or they're talking about people needing to go get a flu shot and this and that. <laughs> i tell you what. And then you got December coming up. Christmas Day and all this. And i tell you what, folks. Who knows what kind of craziness we're going to be going on this year. Hopefully by the year 2021, things are a whole lot better. People can start going on vacations. You know, we can have the National Declare Burn Your Mask Day. Imagine that on the news. Yes, folks, it has been designated January the 7th of 2021, the National Burn Your Mask Day. Yes, we've seen lots of people throwing their old masks into the fires and stuff like that. I wish that could happen, but you never know. Well, right now, folks, I'm going to get off here. This is your butt, good old buddy, the Hillbilly Movie Collector. I'm signing off now, and hopefully we'll I'll keep you entertained and all this. And everything. I, you know. But one more thought before I leave here. i tell you one thing this year, folks. If you had a central drive-in or any kind of drive-in this year, i tell you what, the drive-ins have been popular right down here in our area. Just like it's last weekend, they had uh, Bill and Ted face the music. Let's see, they had Bill and Ted face the music this weekend, and I think they had the other movie, Unhinged, right now playing in our central drive-in. So, so, at least you're, there are some current movies that are being put out right now. So, I've probably ran and raved enough, and hope I ain't scared nobody, but... Let's face it, folks, we don't know what kind of craziness is going to happen. All we can do is just hopefully we can make through it. So this is the old Hillbilly Movie Collector. Hope to see y'all pretty soon. I hope I have some more videos posted up. Like I said, folks, the flea market season is starting to wind down a little bit. So y'all have a good week. <laughs> well, we are off one day, so this should be a short work week. You only have to be in work four. Or some people might have to work five, depending on what your situation is. So, I hope you've had a good Labor Day weekend. I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Go to eh, and subscribe to my channel. And y'all have a good week. This, once again, see you later, folks.